hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year because I've definitely not been on here since then. Just thought I'd give a quick update as to kind of why I've been vacant on everything, not just YouTube, but Instagram too. Basically, life. <laughs> Obviously we went into a national, another national lockdown on the 4th of Jan, which has kind of mean that like, everything's been up in the air and um, I wasn't able to go back to uni and I'm still home. And it's been, I was supposed to come home for three weeks and we're now nearing on three months which is insane. I'm gonna give a quick like of what's been happening. Um, I am hoping to kind of do some more videos um, coming up because it's something that I enjoy doing and I don't wanna like just be doing work, 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 work. Uh, hence this one because I'm literally waiting for a class to be uploaded. So I thought instead of like, let's just, yeah and talk to you guys. I had to do all my exams at home with Aaron here, which was scary at first, but my family have been absolutely great and we actually realized it was the best situation for my mental health because like, I was worried that I wasn't gonna like find time to cook and eat. Um, so it was really good to be at home and the fam were great. Just before my first exam, I got confirmation that I'd been accepted for extra time, which was it was shit because of how much I had to work for it, but I got it in the end and that's what matters. Um, so basically that meant I got an additional six hours, which meant I could submit it the following day evening, as opposed to normally we get 11 a.m. to 11 a.m. I was able to submit it at 5 p.m. and it made such a difference. I then had a presentation for my project, which has literally basically been neglected since November, but surprisingly went very well because I think I wowed them with technology. I had like a tablet with my pen and just kind of wrote on it and they were like, Ooh. but I'm really trying to knuckle down on that. And by doing that presentation, I had a better understanding of my project and kind of where I need to go. So at the moment I'm doing a lot of coding and trying to teach myself how to write a C program. If anybody can help me, let me know, because <laughs> I'm useless. Second week of Feb, semester two started, and I'm still at home, so all my classes are online. Um, most of them are pre-recorded and then like released like today, um, but others are live. Um, and because of my struggles last semester, I've been really making sure that I'm engaging on time so at the moment i'm like caught up on two of my modules and i'm just about a little bit behind on one of them which is a much better place than i was in last semester where i hadn't done anything um so i'm really happy with that and um i'm really enjoying it and i'm aware of kind of my exams and coursework so yeah and the latest announcement said that we won't be going back until at least after easter or waiting basically for more information so it means i'm at home for the foreseeable however i will be moving because um basically last year my mum and stepdad planned for us to have building work over the first few months of 2021 on the expectation that i wouldn't be here so that my room when they kind of knock through downstairs because we're having an extension that my room would be like the storage space. Um, obviously, I've not gone back to uni and the building work has started. I'm surprised there's not actually any noise. There's normally so much background noise, so this is just luck. I'm, I'm, I'm basically going to my dad's. Um, I will be moving like permanently to my dad's house. Um, like I have a room there, I have study space. It's like, it's literally my second home. We kind of don't really know when and um, that means that Aaron will be going home in a week and a half, but we're both getting tested before we go because obviously we don't want to put anybody at risk um, and doing it as safe as possible. But it's just a bit crazy because it means that I'll kind of then be permanently moving over there, which over this whole time, I've seen so little of my dad because we've not wanted to risk it. And now I'm actually gonna be living with him. So it's kind of like a silver lining. I get to spend more time with him. Easter comes and I'm going to be studying so much I've basically got my project to write up so I've got my sister to help me because she's done hers um, and I had to like you know write she can't help with the maths but 
so stress. Um, that's basically what's been happening. Um, June, January, for the support zone at the union, uh, over the three week exam period, we ran a campaign called Be Well, Feel Well, Do Well. And basically every morning at 8.30 a.m. we did a half an hour kind of wellness session. So we did 10 minutes of exercise, 10 minutes of stretching and 10 minutes of meditation. It was so great. We wish we had better engagement, but we just know that online engagement is absolutely going through, like I was gonna say through the roof, but it's the opposite of that. It's like so low, but it was still really good. And I basically kind of pledged myself to continue to do that um, when I can. So try and do at least 30 minutes of wellness a day, whether that's movement, meditation or stretching. That also means like, it's to kind of trick myself into doing physio every day because I'm so bad at getting it. So that's been really good, just doing little bits of exercise when I can. Me and my mum done a jive workout the other day and it was so fun. <laughs> bloody exhausting but fun like I had to do it like Lucy version like fibro like no jumping version but it was so good um and I've never done meditation before and it's really interesting and it's really nice to kind of get in tune with your body I only do it for 10 minutes because I get so restless but it's definitely something that I'm really enjoying doing and forcing myself getting into physio so that's that you've been put off for like three months just because like life complications she was busy i was busy and it was like ah. so we finally met last week and um it was yeah it was just good to kind of go with my stretches and talk about things like um and building strength like i can this is going to sound so whatever but i've been balancing on each leg and I can now balance whilst holding on to something on each leg for like 30 seconds. And she, there's like no point trying to push for longer than that because I need to get the stability. So now it's just like building the strength in that leg. And it's like, it's stuff like that is, is scary. Um, and various other stretches for my lower body. And I kind of can quite comfortably do those, but obviously with my exams and my writing, um, I was noticing that like I just needed to do more for my wrists. So I've actually um, recently got a power ball, which is like this thing. And you pull a string out of it and it starts spinning and you have to keep it going. <laughs> it killed me. It's basically kind of where I'm at at the moment. Um, I have so much to talk about sustainability wise, but I'm not gonna get into that now. I'm really trying to make this year be the year I make a difference for myself, for the world. It's those, it's kind of coming in tune and realizing what my ideals are and what my ambitions are, like, and going where, doing what I, what aligns with me. And a lot of that is what aligns with the planet, which sounds so cringy and so cliche but I truly have a passion for it. Oh my God, I think I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Because <laughs> yeah. um, the other fibro thing is I'm still on my same medication, which is 150 milligrams of sertraline or sertraline. However, I've booked in an appointment to have an anxiety and depression test because the medication I'm currently on is helping, it's doing wonders for my panic attacks, but I'm still like feeling crap. So it was just something recommended to me and I might as well do it and then see, like, and then if it comes back fine, then it's fine and we do the next thing, but it's kind of um, ticking off that box. I've been rambling and drinking water. That was another one of my big goals, creek water. I drink so much water now and it's great okay i hope you're all well and i hope 2021 has been like as good as it can be for you i hope you're all safe um and i do wish everyone well who is struggling in this time um and everyone says like please reach out to me but i really do um want to listen to anybody who is struggling during this time whether it's mentally whether you're just lonely or whether you're fed up because i have as probably everyone has most people have gone through such a roller coaster of emotions and my family has been affected in so many different ways um 
and I think a communication, conversation, just having someone to talk to and them listen, not even them talk back to you, is um, a really great way to feel that sense of community, to not feel alone. Um, and yeah, I guess maybe we'll wrap this up. My heart is definitely in a place supporting the arts industries at the moment. Um, that is something that is huge in my family and I'm seeing the struggles firsthand all day, every day. Um, so for anybody out there, um, or everybody, like, my heart is with you and we will be, we will be back. We will be gigging, singing at events, anything, performing, presenting. We will be back. It's just gonna take time. And when we're back, we'll be good. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now, but thanks for watching. Um, this was kind of a bit of a boring video, but it's just to kind of catch up and I find it easier talking than writing. Comment what you maybe want to hear more about. If I've just said a bunch of stuff and you're like, you know what, talk more about that. Let me know. Um, yeah, give this a like and subscribe because um, I will be doing more videos. Like, like, I guess this is really definitely a lockdown diary and I'm going to do more. But yeah, definitely some videos about my current sustainability, like, loves that um, I'm doing, like, I have discovered. Yeah, but basically, stay tuned. I'd love to be like, I'm gonna post every week, but life's not that easy. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Please do follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this channel at a little bit blah, 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 at a little bit of green and purple, a little bit of sustainability, and a little bit of fibro. Well, it was great talking to you, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.